are better ways to keep cool. Call KS Services and receive a new Bryant unit with no payments and no interest for 18 months. Stay cool now and pay later. Visit callks.com for more. It's the Weather Extreme video. This is the afternoon edition. This is for Wednesday, the 16th of September. Sally making her presence felt across the southern two-thirds of the state today. Uh, the system gradually weakening. After that, things look pretty good, although... Although now we might have to watch the southwestern Gulf of Mexico for some mischief here. It is the middle of hurricane season, so let's take a look at things. First off, this is the upper air look across the country this afternoon. The core westerlies are north of here, and the steering currents are still weak, but at least, Sally, beginning to gain some forward speed, uh, which is a good thing. Here's the visible satellite view. And again, you can see that uh, the system just crept into the Gulf Coast at about 5 miles per hour. Now it's moving at about 10 miles per hour through the southwestern corner of the state. And that will keep on increasing in forward speed over the next 12 hours or so. There's the radar, and you can see that the rain shield is wanting to hold south of Interstate 20 for the most part. Uh, Tuscaloosa has been dry. Downtown Birmingham has been dry. It's raining in Shelby County. Uh, it is raining in Anniston and parts of East Alabama, but the really significant rain uh, begins around Clanton, Lake Martin, Alexander City, Roanoke, and then down into southeast Alabama where the rain is heavier. We still have flash flood watches for parts of east and south uh, east Alabama through tonight as the system passes through the counties there in green. And again, the chance of an isolated brief tornado, mainly for the southeastern corner of the state. The uh, higher chances down around Dothan, Geneva, Ozark, Abbeville. The areas in yellow back into South Georgia and North Florida. Tomorrow, a risk of isolated tornadoes with the remnant circulation of Sally across parts of the Carolinas in eastern Georgia. And day three, which is Friday, no severe weather expected across the country. Here's the rain for the next five days, and of course most all of this is coming down today for our state. We'll just have a few lingering showers tomorrow. The big rain spread up into Georgia and the Carolinas tomorrow. So, let's talk tropics. Uh, this is the latest track for Sally. It's a tropical storm now as of 1 o'clock. Uh, the system uh, moving north-northeast, and uh, it will be in Georgia tomorrow and in South Carolina on Friday on the way out. So, let's look at the rest of the Atlantic Basin. Uh, Paul Ed is now post-tropical up in the North Atlantic. No concerns there. Uh, we've got uh, Tropical Storm Vicky in the Eastern Atlantic. That will not last long. It uh, should dissipate within a day or two. Uh, Teddy could be a major hurricane by tonight. We'll talk about Teddy in just a second. We've got a wave that's come off the coast of Africa. And all of a sudden, the guys are watching the southwestern Gulf. Uh, this is the five-day outlook. And that feature in the Bay of Campeche with a high chance of developing but it's in no hurry to move anywhere and the other invest that's out in the eastern atlantic with a high chance of developing so let's start with the one closer in this is invest 90l in the southwestern gulf of mexico and this is the gfs ensemble and most of the members have that thing doing the hokey pokey the loopy dance uh, and then slowly bringing it to the north and remaining over the water uh, this is the intensity forecast for 90L, and it becomes a tropical storm. This would uh, either be Wilfred or Alpha, one of the two. We're down to one name left on the name list for the season. Uh, it's just something to watch for now. I'm going to show you the GFS, the European, on this in just a couple of minutes. Uh, this is the other wave with a good chance of developing. This is Invest 98 in the eastern Atlantic, and uh, this is the GFS ensemble output and again you can see that most of the members want to turn this north just before getting to the lesser antilles of course there's a long way out there anything could happen but it looks like it might be a recurving storm this is the intensity guidance for 98l uh, most models keep this a tropical storm uh, over the next five days and let's not forget teddy this thing will likely be a major hurricane tonight or tomorrow and then it begins to weaken Sunday, and it should be near Bermuda. You know, they had one that came over, Paulette, and this could be on top of them next Monday morning. That would be two Mondays in a row with a tropical storm or a hurricane. But from there, most likely it recurves. So let's dive into the GFS. This is the 12Z run valid tomorrow at 4. We have troughing left behind uh, as Sally moves out. Now, clouds will probably linger much of the day, look like today. It's going to be nice and cool. We'll be in the low and mid-70s all day. And there could be some lingering patchy light rain on the backside of Sally, but nothing heavy, nothing widespread. Now, this is Friday. Uh, we think the sky becomes partly sunny. We'll probably see low 80s. The day should be dry. 
pretty comfortable. Now, Saturday, you see what the GFS is doing here? It's trying to bring that thing up from the southwestern Gulf toward the mouth of the Mississippi River is a weak tropical system, and that would push rain up into South Alabama. However, the European, which is really reliable, it's got that surface low still down there in the far southwestern Gulf, far, far below the GFS, and we think that is the right solution with hardly any steering currents down there. And if this is the case, Saturday would be dry and really pleasant. Highs only in the middle 70s. Uh, the sky partially sunny. Should be a, a really nice day. And, uh, and this is Sunday off the European. It's still got that tropical low in the far southwestern Gulf way below us. Sunday would be a beautiful day, sunny with a high in the 70s. And again, we could be in the 50s Sunday morning. But the GFS, it brings a plume of tropical moisture up in here. So both models are in great conflict with each other, but we're going to trust the reliable European and go with the dry, pleasant forecast for the weekend. But be aware that could change. We'll go to Monday. That looks pretty quiet. Tuesday, we're dry. And this is a week from today, Wednesday the 23rd, a light northwest flow aloft and again a very dry air mass and very pleasant. We'll go out 10 days. This is Saturday the 26th, big trough in the west ridging in the east and we're still dry rain for birmingham and of course a little uncertainty over the weekend here but this is coming off the gfs ensemble the mean is around two inches for the next 15 days and look at those numbers 90s are gone now we might have a 90 degree day in october we all know that but uh, look at the 70s this weekend and early next week with lows getting down in the middle 50s for the first half of next week i like that and hot off the presses, the new CPC outlook. This is for September 24th through the 30th, showing temperatures a little below average here, if this verifies. That's it for the Weather Extreme video this afternoon. We'll have notes on the blog. The next video here by 7 o'clock tomorrow morning. You can catch us this evening on ABC 3340 News at 4, 5, 6, and 10 o'clock. Thanks for watching. Have a great evening, and God bless. Never wait for hot water again with a tankless water heater from Plumbing Experts. Tankless water heaters are easy, convenient, and now more affordable with a no interest financing for up to 18 months. Stop with the cold showers and wasted water and call Plumbing Experts today.